everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the low-level code calculation. So what is low-level code? And what is the low-level code used for in Dynamics 365 Business Central? Microsoft has an official document which gives you a, like this diagram. You can see that like if you are a manufacturing company and you are using the bill of materials, and uh, then you may have multiple levels of the bill of materials. On the top is your finished good. So like in this case, it's the basic code. So the finished good is at the level zero, which means this is the top level. And then uh, under the basic code, you will see the view and frame. And these are the components for the basic code. So you can see these main components are at level one. So because the view is also having its own sub-assembly, then you can see under the view, it has the rim, tire, spokes. And these are these sub-assembly components are at a level two. And after that, for the tire, then you have the tire valve. Then this is the lower level, level three. And the tire valve is also has some components. And then this is a level four. So you have multiple levels and um, the top level finished good is level zero. And then uh, for each lower level, and you can have sub-assembly and other raw materials under it. And when the planning mechanism, like if you're using the MRP, the planning worksheet or other planning to calculate the MRP in Business Central, then the planning uh, direction for the planning mechanism to calculate is from the top level down. What if like you have this sub-assembly, let's say for this view, uh, you use this at multiple for a multiple finished good item, but then you expose it at different level. So for example, you have this basicle and for this basicle, you use the view on level one and probably on another basicle, you use this under uh, for level two. If that's the case, then the planning mechanism is going to take the lowest level. Okay. If a sub, if a main component or uh, sub assembly uh, is used for multiple uh, finished good items or uh, on multiple production bombs, and then it's uh, the planning direction. The uh, the when the planning uh, worksheet or uh, other planning is calculating the MRP, it's gonna take the lowest level for that shared component. If there's two basicals are using two different kind of basicals are using this sub-assembly and um, on one of the sub-assemblies level one, another one is level two, then it's going to take at level two. The low, low level code calculation for that component is going to be level two. It's always the lowest level. Okay, that's how it works. And from the 2021 October 1st, Wave 2 release of Business Central, there's a feature like on the stock keeping unit card, there's a production bomb and the routing has been added. So previously, it's only on the item card, but from the 2021 October 1st with two release, then uh, it's added to the stock keeping unit card. So by using that, then if you have multiple manufacturing facilities, you manage in the same business central company, for multiple manufacturing facilities, then you can use the stock keeping unit card to you can have different production bomb and the routing set up on different location by using the stock keeping unit card. But how the low level code is gonna work with that? Does it work on the stock keeping unit card? Does it calculate by the stock keeping unit card? Uh, we can just uh, test it to see if it works. But the answer uh, from my testing, it seems like it doesn't consider the uh, it doesn't consider the stock keeping unit card so usually before you run the planning worksheet or other planning in business central you have to calculate the low level code even in the manufacturing setup you can set it up so if i go to manufacturing setup then there's a dynamic low level code which means every time you certify your production bomb then it, it's gonna recalculate the low level code so you can see that setup here dynamic low level code. I have that check mark. I have that uh, turned down for in the manufacturing setup. But the problem is like if you have deleted some components from the bomb, 
so if the production bump has been deleted, and uh, if you, the this dynamic low level code will not recalculate. So there are some scenarios it's not covered by this dynamic low level code. But if you uh, update uh, the production bomb, then recertify the production bomb, then for sure it's going to calculate again. Uh, but also, I think it has, uh, from the experience, it seems like it has, uh, if you have a very large number of production bombs and items uh, which use the production bombs, then it depends on uh, how large the number of your production bombs. If you, if you have over 100,000 of that, the database calculation of this will be really slow. Usually you don't want to turn this on. You want to schedule the batch job to uh, calculate the low level code. Okay, for the safe, even you have dynamic low level code turned down and um, sometimes if it's not calculated properly, you have to still have to manually run the batch job calculate low level code. Okay, so you can, if you want to uh, run this calculate low level code regularly, then you'd better just schedule a job in the job queue, then run it every night, okay? So that's just a click on this, calculate low level code. What it does, it just goes, goes through all the production bombs and then recalculate the low level code for each uh, items, finished good item and the components. So on the item card, then uh, you will see there's a low level code. If you inspect the page, then you will see what low level code the item is. So you can see for this finished good item, now I have the low level code zero, but let's go to the next item. So this item is actually a component. It's a component of my finished good item. You can see the low level code is one, because if you look at this uh, item 1038, then you can see on the production bomb, I have the, uh, the view set up as uh, one of the component. If we take a look on this production bomb, then you could see the view is one of the component here. Okay, so then you know like uh, this finished good item make to other item is uh, level zero because this is the finished good item. But the other component view, which is uh, on the production bomb of that finished good item, so this is a low level code with the low level code one. So the finished good item is level zero, and this view is level one. If we go to the planning worksheet, let's do this. If we go to the planning worksheet, and uh, so we can we can see we can uh, personalize this view and uh, uh, make the low level code and the location code show up. So then you can see uh, on the planning worksheet, it does calculate it does take in uh, take the low level code into the consideration. But does it consider it from the stock keeping on it or is it consider it from the item card? Uh, that's a question. From what I see, it, I don't think that changed the update uh, on October 1st, 2021, with 2 release, ever consider this low level, calculate this low level code on stock keeping on the card. But it does have uh, added the production bomb and the routing to the Stock keeping unit card, but just the planning mechanism is not considered the stock keeping unit card. Okay, so let's take a look. So we have these stock keeping units uh, created for the those two items. One is the finished good item one zero three eight. Another one is that VO. So one zero three nine. These two items we created the stock keeping unit card for all the locations. Then let's just take the blue location as example. Okay. So let's filter to this blue location. And you can see on the stock keeping unit card, if you inspect the page, you don't have the low level code, right? So that was never added to the stock keeping unit card. Even the production bomb and the routing is added to the stock keeping unit card, but that wasn't added. So on the finished good item, I did, on the finished good item, I did have some planning parameters and um, I have the reorder, reordering policy for those two items. Uh, on the stock keeping unit card, you can see I do have them too. So that's why the planning worksheet should calculate uh, based on the reordering policy. But on the stock keeping unit card, I do not have, uh, on the item card, I have the routing and the production bomb. 
and uh, on the stock keeping only card for this finished good item, I purposely removed production bomb. No, actually, when I created it. When I created the stock keeping only card, this was blank. So, so even if it's not blank for our testing purpose, I will remove it and to see if the planning mechanism is considering the stock keeping only. Uh, it's calculating anything for the low level code for from the stock keeping unit card. Okay, so I removed it for this finished good item, which means like uh, this view uh, for this location, blue location, is not used on that finished good item anymore. Okay, then when you calculate, if it's considered the stock keeping unit card, then it should calculate uh, this. Uh, it should calculate this finished good item as a. Uh, low level code zero and also it should calculate this view as low level code zero why because because this uh view at this location is not used by any finished good item anymore so then it should be at the top level because you purchase and you could sell it right away it's not uh used by if it's not used on any uh production bomb then the system will default it to zero okay so for the blue location, because I removed this view from the production bomb, I removed the production bomb for the finished good item. This view is not used by this finished good make to order item anymore. So that low level code, if it's taking the if it's taking the stock keeping unit card low level code at, uh, into consideration, then it should be zero. Okay, for this view. But let's take a look. And if we go to our planning worksheet, oh, since our planning worksheet, let's calculate first to see what location it's gonna calculate for. Okay, 1039, this is for the view. And if we click on OK, now you see it only calculate for the white location. So because there's no demand for the blue location, and uh, so what we are going to do, instead of filter by this uh, blue location, I'm going to do it for this white location. And uh, so on this white location, you could see I also do not have the production bomb on the finished good item here. I also changed the replenishment system for the finished good item from production order to purchase. Okay, so in theory, for even for the white location, it should uh, just default the low level code for this item view as a uh, zero instead of one because it's not used on any bomb. Let's recalculate our low level code. Okay, so and then we can go to the planning worksheet and then try again. So we can delete this line and try again. So we are only calculating for this item, this 1039 is the view. Now you can see this low level code is still calculated as one instead of zero. So which means like uh, even Microsoft added the production bomb and the uh, routing to the stock keeping unit card. But if you are using the planning worksheet, it still look at the item card. It's not look at the low level code for stock keeping unit card. First, on the stock keeping unit card doesn't even have the low level code exist. Second, the the calculate low level code function, well that batch job is only taking it's only um look at the item card, it's not look at the stock keeping unit card. So if you have um if you do want to use the planning worksheet and to calculate properly for the stock keeping unit, then you may customize the planning mechanism. Uh, on the uh, planning worksheet to uh, consider the low level code from the stock keeping unit card. You may need to add a field on the stock keeping unit table uh, for low level code and then calculate from the stock keeping unit card. And also if you have an extension on your business central, uh, like if you have a Lanham demand plan, uh, which use the production plan to calculate simulated production orders, then you may need to consider this as well. Uh, you may need to consider custom to custom. If you have the if you are using 
uh, multiple manufacturing facilities, and uh, you are using the stock keeping unit to have different uh, production farm for different manufacturing location. Then you have to change uh, your extension or the planning mechanism to look at the low level code from stock keeping unit card. Okay, so that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Hope to see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. Stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to our channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or email info at archerpoint.com to contact us. See you in the next video.